Ah, uh, that's English. Ajá, y entonces, ¿qué pasó? Uh, what happened? Right now. What's up, what's up? It's your boy, this is Ace Live. Back again to give you guys another awesome video. Today we're going to be back to cooking. I know you guys love the cooking. We are cooking chicken today. I know. Listen, I, I had hopes to cook something, a Haitian dish today, but it was hard to get the meat, being that we we having issues uh, finding the meat. So today we're going to be eating some chicken. Hope you enjoy. And you know I got one of our favorite Afro-Colombiana chicks up in here. And so we, we started off with the um, some beans and everything. And so she already started off with all that and I, I filmed it and then we found out we couldn't get the meat we wanted. So we are going to just use what I have, which is some chicken right here. She's thawing out. That is onions. That's uh, come see. Cebollín. So, so, oh yeah. Cebollín, cebolla larga. It's like, a, I guess it's like, you guys can tell what that is, all right? In the comments, y'all help me out with what that is. And this this is right here. Look how she's cutting down that um that garlic, though. That ajo, right? Mm -hmm. So she's, she's the way she's doing it. <laughs> I've never seen it done that way. Nunca ve, ve lo, como lo gente hace de así. Mm -hmm. oh. Ah, sí, es que esta técnica es exclusiva de mi mamá. Ah, she said that's her mom's technique. <laughs> and so she done unlocked it like a ninja. Bam! <laughs> you know what I mean? So basically, uh, you know, it's good to see that, you know, she's actually, we're actually seeing how her mom does it. And right here is the broth right here for the beans. I had to set it in some water overnight just to set it. That way she can break it. We got some bell peppers, red and green in here, guys. You can see she's, we got some other, come on, say, I'm going to say, right? This is the ajito pito, or ají pequeño. Okay, ajito pito. Uh huh, o pequeño. O pequeño. ¿Qué es pito? Es un lengua de la gente en barranquilla. She said pito, which is like, uh. Topito. Pito. Topito. Topito. Ajito topito. A pesar que aquí le decimos, aquí todo lo decimos en diminutivo. Entonces, ajito, topito. So basically, the people of Barranquilla have a way of uh, pronouncing some words. It's a, it's a slang or way, a colloquial way of saying some words, but like ajito, pito, you know, they like to use pito, tito at the end of every wording. And here in, uh, this is a thing I noticed, seriously noticed in the city of Barranquilla, Colombia. But uh, yeah, we are do we're doing good, man. We're doing good. Um, I'm gonna see if I can talk to her. It's been, you know, been an interesting month for all of us here. And so I'm gonna talk to her to see what's up with, um, how's, how things going with uh, her, her situation here in the country. Uh, uh, the challenges she might have to partake, just being who she is. All right, so I think that's gonna be dope for a lot of you guys to hear. And um, yeah, okay, give this thumbs up if you really enjoy these uh, cooking videos. I bring them, um, you know, I like, I really enjoy having her on because she's really articulate and uh, she throw down, okay? She don't, <laughs> I gotta keep, keep up with her. All right, so let, let's check out what she's doing next. Do you like to cook? Ah, uh, no, you speak English. <laughs> she been speaking some English uh, with me. Uh, do you like to cook? Ah, okay. Eh, puedo decir que sí, me gusta realmente, eh, te puedo decir algo, yo antes odiaba la cocina, pero hace un tiempo le he agarrado amor, así que no, ahora me encanta. So she said, she, I gotta be honest, before I didn't really like being here, like it was, she was a, like, it was a horror to her, but uh, at some time, she really began to love, and now she really loves uh, cooking. You know, it, it's, it's easy to say because a mom is a, a top chef. I want to go your, to your house to see how your mom cook. Yo digo que el tiempo que he estado en casa, el tiempo que he compartido con mi madre, porque antes por el trabajo compartía muy poquito tiempo con ella. 
eh, ahora que compartimos más y que de pronto este, cocinamos juntas, eh, ha hecho que se despierte esa, ese pasa pasión, ese amor eh, mm -hmm. por la cocina. So, yeah, um, basically, I think she said, yeah, <laughs> okay, but we can go. And um, also, she was actually, actually considering maybe having her mom and her start a channel together uh, cooking food. And I, I ain't got no problem. She, I see that they have a, she has a drive to show it, and it would be really good quality stuff. So maybe in the future, we're going to go. Entonces, un día yo voy a pasar y... Eh, mira como el, el master chef Ajá. cocinados <laughs> ok el maestra el profesora esto es para el pollo ok this is gonna be for the pollo so basically there's a thing called a piece in um, the Haitian culture and basically it's a, just a it's a mixture of different type of peppers and uh, we put it in the blender and we chop it up and it gets into a nice little paste. So what we'll do is we'll, what we'll do is set the paste on top of the chicken. Hopefully when the chicken thaws out, we can do it. <laughs> and um, it'll, it'll be really good. So uh, the main thing is the peppers, but she added a little Latin flavor on there and put some, um, uh, como se dice este? Cebolla. Okay, cebolla is the onions. Y este? Eh, pimentón. Pimento rojo. Mm -hmm. Y pimento verde. And pimento verde. Pimento meaning like pepper. All right. El rojo y uh, verde. Y ese pimento, un tipo de pimento, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay, so that's a type of, of pimento. Bueno, entonces ahora lo que vamos a hacer es vamos a lavar nuestro pollo. Okay, so... congelado, pero... Yeah, the, the chicken all iced up. I don't have that chicken up there for a minute. I hope it's still good, man. Yeah, yeah, nice and frozen though. <laughs> so she had some vinegar. Okay. So she added some vinegar on there. Typically, the meat should already be thawed out. And then you put the vinegar in there, but she's going to use it in conjunction. So if you are doing this, hopefully your meat is thawed out, but you're still going to use the vinegar, all right? To give it that nice little flavor. Nos faltó algo. Huh? Nos faltó algo. What are we missing? She said we missing some. El tomate. Ay, bueno, yo puedo llamar a alguien. Y el tomate para que el arroz. Para los triples. Okay. Entonces... Pero nosotros no come con a, 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 a tomates. ¿Cómo así? Los haitianos no come a, a el fojo no, con no. ¿Tú qué sabes? Sí, yo sabes. Sí. Ajá. No, eso sería. No, pero yo lo llamo por tomate porque tú eres el chef, ¿ok? <laughs> You don't want that's okay. cooking. Okay, I better get them um, tomatoes. I <laughs> amigo, necesito ayuda. Uh, yo necesito tomate. Okay. Ay, aguacate, amor. Uh, tomate, aguacate. Mm -hmm, sí, también. Y aguacate. Um, un momento. Um, mira ya, mira ya. Si sí, está, está bueno o no bueno, mira. Esto que es, que dejas ahí. Oh, uh, one of them is not, not even. No, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 está bueno. <laughs> yeah, okay, is it bueno or no bueno? Mira. She's checking it because I had them things in a cabinet. Ah, sí, está bien. Okay, so solo de tomate. All right. ¿Cuánto? Dos mil comiendo. Okay, gotcha. Okay. We're going in on it. She broke the chicken down and now she's putting a lemon in there. El limón ayuda que se le elimine el olor. Ah, 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 ah. So el, the... El olor del pollo, sarda. Mm -hmm. So basically the, the lemon is going to help eliminate the, the smell of the chicken. And, um, you know, that's one thing we, we really big on is cleaning the chicken with the lemon. So... Some people don't do that to each his own. This is something we're doing. I'm kind of glad we're doing it this way because I know a lot of some of you guys are very reserved eating pork 
right? Because normally we would be using pork shoulders, but uh, this is a good alternative for people who are um, not, uh, you know, into pork. Well, here you go, some chicken right here, okay? Vamos a aprovechar también para retirar el exceso de grasa. She's getting rid of all the, uh, the skin right here. So, uh, well, the excess skin and the, the grease and stuff like that. I personally like all that. Sign me up for all that, okay? <laughs> this is a blessing for me, man, because coming from um, pretty much a uh, so when I was in Asia, it was really tough for me to get me some food that I'm accustomed to eating. And then I'm boom, I'm back here on this side of the world and boom, it's available. And I, you know, I have some cool friends I'm showing me how to do it, so that's that's super dope. Alright. Alright. So I guess she's gonna have the chicken set it up there. Oh look I see me uh put that set it there. Claro. Entonces, ¿qué pasa? Que el pollo tiende, pues, tiende a, a botar agua, entonces la idea es que entre menos agua mejor, entonces por eso hacemos, pues lo escurrimos bien, ¿verdad? Para que salga el, el exceso de agua y después procedemos a, a prepararlo. Ok, so entonces, para, para nuestro cerdo, mira lo que vamos a hacer. Para nuestro pollo. pollo. Mm -hmm. Vamos a agregarle ajo, sal, un poquito de magui, pimienta picante o pimienta de esa negrita y vamos a hacer lo que estaba, lo que le preparó, lo que le vamos a echar al cerdo. Le vamos a hacer un licuado de pimentones rojo verde y también le agregué un poquito de cebolla. A eso le vamos a agregar también un poquito de aceite. So basically, guys, she's going to uh, start preparing the a piece. What I call a piece is the Haitian way. Of considering calling a piece um, everything that we were going to do with the pork we're going to do with the chicken all right guys so just in case you're wondering and um, it's a good it's a good type of flavor to have okay? all right all right okay so oh yeah she's gonna put her 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 spin on it so she put some garlic in there uh, garlic is amazing guys and I, I I really didn't know how well it was and man, but it's really good to cook with some stuff on I know if it's too much garlic is uh, too much but it is most definitely amazing let me get a good look show y'all well, how it's looking in there okay yes mmm that look like a salad don't it yes it does <laughs> taking uh some Maggie all right guys it's like a seasoned sauce and she's putting it in there oh Oh, she put her own little flavor. You know, she ain't going because we were looking on YouTube to see how this stuff is done. And so she's putting her own little spin on it. You know what I mean? Oh, she's going to put a little affecte in there. Yeah, she's doing her own little spin, all right? All right listen, I'm going to tell you right now, if she, if she starts cooking this way, they're going to be me in there. She cocina todo el tiempo así. Tú vas a ser millonario. Straight up. All this stuff though, to be honest with you, you're gonna have to put some water in there anyways. Get the chicken nice and marinated. Oh yeah, bonitas. <laughs> okay. Okay, so basically guys, she's just gonna let it sit there for a little 30 minutes and then we're gonna boil it up, all right? The beans look like they're ready. They been, ¿cuántos minutos? Eh, ya lleva como 40 minutos. 40 minutes uh, boil. This is like after we had set it for like uh, the whole night. I set it for the whole night. And so like, that was like eight hours. Pues vamos a boil. agregarle a nuestros frijoles que ya se estaban cocinando. Le agregamos lo que picamos. Ajo, cebollín, cebolla, 
Y, y tomate. Y el tomate. Y bueno, cuando llegue el tomate, le aplicamos el tomate. So basically, she's putting um, some garlic, some green peppers in there, uh, uh, some Zanahoria. some carrots up in there. Pretty much making it a, a, a colorful dish. We typically we wouldn't put those carrots in um, for the beans. It would be straight beans and rice. Adobo. Okay, I don't know what adobo means, but. Uh, <laughs> She's breaking the ma on the Maggie up. Just putting the tomatoes in the broth as well. Guys, if you see any similarities to how you cook, but you're not Colombian, um, comment down where you're from and uh, let me know what is your favorite dish. I would greatly appreciate that. Well, what is, uh, what? and if you cook similar, what is the name? How do you call it? Is it a particular way or you just call it rice and beans and you know? And um, chicken. Okay, guys, so she's going to be making um, some form of uh, juice. If you guys didn't remember, I went to the market and bought some of this. Come and say, I'm at the tomato de árbol. Oh, the tomato tree or something. All right, if you want to know how they look, they look like this, like grenade bombs. All right, but uh, she says she's going to make some form of juice with that. She already put some sugar in there. All right, boom, that's the sugar. Esto también lo podemos hacer en leche. All right, so she's gonna put the water. You can also do this with milk, okay? It's up to you, whatever your choice. Okay, she's gonna cut it in half. Uh, in the middle. And she's gonna just scoop that up with the spoon and boom. Good to go. Both of them. And yeah, get in there. I didn't even know I would be eating this. I just bought it for the sake, but it's cool that we actually do it. Oh, I know, I the water for that. Okay, pouring it in there. seeds from the tomato and there you go guys yeah. now if, if you don't know she doesn't like this particular type of rice the processed cocoa rice okay um, she prefers to make her own from scratch and she did that if you haven't seen it there'll be a link in the description how she did that but uh pretty much I told her just do, go with that because if you're gonna go the Haitian route we need some um, we don't go with the white rice when we're eating the grill. It's uh, I forgot what type of. It's more of a grain type, uh, brown rice. So I think this uh, this uh, this comes close to it. So basically, guys, because this is a, a packaged rice, um, you're gonna have to put some um, oil in it. Normally, if it's naturally made, it's already good. No need for extra oil, but this one you're gonna you gotta go for it. Como es una taza de arroz, le echamos dos de agua. <laughs> tu no te gusta no, ese arroz? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, she doesn't like that rice, but I actually ate the rice before. You know what I mean? But it, it, people in the know if once you try more better stuff, it's like you can't go back to the to the next. But I'm comfortable eating this particular rice. Bueno. Either. Entonces después de haberle agregado pues la mezcla que hicimos con los vegetales, ahora la vamos a colocar a, fu a fuego medio para que se cocine. So basically guys, uh, it's already been dipped in sauce and everything and so she's gonna just let it brew like that. Typically you can put some extra water in there but uh, she's saying we'll go this route and um, and let it let it do the thing. We already had mm -hmm. put water in there with the, the mix so I, I think she feels like this will be um, better. Uh, uh, ¿Cuánto minuto está? Vamos a creer. Yo creo que en 40 minutos ya está listo. It should be uh, it should be good after the broth in um, 30 uh, 40 minutes. But we had it sitting there um, without being cooked for 30 minutes. So it's it's it, it's it's we're getting there. We're getting there step by step, guys. Ese agua. Sí. Agua, sal y azúcar. So water, salt and sugar and this is going to be used for cooking the rice All sí, right, guys. Vamos a agregar. and then she's going to put some oil in there because she's the oil queen okay only like she says this rice 
the processed rice, packaged rice, because if it was natural, you didn't need the, the oil. All right, so we'll wait for it to get a little bit of hot, and then uh, she's gonna put this rice up in there. The food smells so good. That rice, even though she don't like it, it is banging. I put the light on here so y'all can see a little bit better. Oh, uh, the, the chicken is bubbling up for your boy. I'm going to be eating good. I I just can't wait. Mm -hmm. So she's taking the chicken out for the stove, and this is what we got right here. Nice marinated um, chicken. And so you can also boil it, si puede, or comer así, si quieres. You can eat it like this, or you can eat it fried. So I told her to fry it up in the spirit of making um, what I call you can eat it like this because it's already well sauced up and everything and it looks really good mm -hmm. but I, I want the thing fried up we're going to get the fried chicken Pero como tú quieras, no sé. fried bueno. okay. <laughs> she said she know I know <laughs> I want it like that <laughs> okay <laughs> and, and oh lord it's really good she says come look at it mm. yeah it looks really good. It's really good. And we're gonna put that with the rice. We're gonna mix that with the rice. I think. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm thinking we're gonna cook it with the rice. All right. So one of the challenges of being in a different country is getting the right material. You're gonna need to cook the food. That is something different. But uh, I, man, if I could. If I would. And maybe in the future, I would import a lot of different patient. You know, ingredients like that I can get in Miami and just uh, Haitian food ingredients and then pretty much start a restaurant here. It'll be in a tourist area and man, I know it can make a killing, man. It, it'll be a little bit different. Any places that where you go and you bring some of that culture, people love that, you know. It's a, it's a, it is a, an exotic different type of style and taste. So for sure, you know, they got, um, they got an Irish pub here. <laughs> Not to say they just make food, but they got like different cultures of different ideas here. So I know, and they do pretty well. And so I know that if uh, we were to do uh, a different type of culture thing here, people would love it, man. Okay, so let's get this one. Get the rice. The rice looks really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I, I just love smelling that rice. It's so sugary. She said, our diet is lost. <laughs> no, comer así un día es bueno. <laughs> like, you look, guys, literally, she'll pop over here. You know, you might not know it, but she'll, she'll swing by and we will tear down a whole full-size pizza <laughs> in the house. You know what I mean? Or like, we'll get some KFC, KFC, <laughs> or, <laughs> or we, we, we go in. Me knowing um, how they make banan, it's a little bit different. We'll, we'll cut the banana, similar to that, right? And then we'll smash the banana, just like that, while it's in that form. Then we'll dip it in some um, salt water, and then we'll put it in a fryer. Because this is different. You're gonna get similar tastes, you know? It's all about the ingredients and the, you know? But uh, yeah, that's how we'll, we'll go ahead and do it. Right. Oh, uh, guys, I miss when she smashed them, but um, it's pretty simple. Como, como lo, uh, lo yeah, how did she do? She she pretty much took the plate. Lo she put the the fry plant in there. Ah, okay, okay. So that's how she did it, guys. She just squashed it with the plate. All right, looks room. Mm. Bonita. I'm telling her about my first time coming here. How I uh, they wouldn't let me into a restaurant in Medellin, and I said something about reservoir. She's like reservations. <laughs> <laughs> ah, reservations, huh? Mm. Like, I don't know what. Are you speaking uh, uh, English or Spanish with me? <laughs> in English, please. No. Ah, uh, that's English. Ajá, y entonces, ¿qué pasó? 
Uh, what happened? What mm -hmm. happened? <laughs> she sounds like a, a vampire, a black vampire. Yeah. So this is the importance of having fresh oil to get that nice golden look. The darker the oil, the darker the food is gonna. Ya le echamos sal. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hold on. All right, all right, it's hot. Ooh, mm. Mm. Bueno, mm. it's really good, guys. Ahora procedemos a freír el pollo. That noise is so satisfying to hear, guys. I can't even lie. Wow, it's just the food is already cooked. Yeah, it's so, mmm, rapido. She make it look so easy, guys. Oh, man. Looks amazing, guys. I'm learning. I love, I love what we do here because I'm learning. You know what I mean? And... Just in case I need to get down, I can just watch these videos and figure the steps and get it in. I know some of you ladies love to see this, so, you know, give it a thumbs up if you love to see it, ladies. Share this with all your lady friends. I'm trying to get more women in here. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm a wild guy, but you know what I mean? You work with your boy. Amazing, guys. Oh. Look at that, look at the grizzle on the meat. Oh, it looks so good, oh my gosh. Beautiful woman, she's trying to ruin it here. Todos, todos. Okay, todos. guys we did it well she did it and I just recorded it <laughs> but the food as you can see it looks awesome guys this is good okay I know I'm gonna eat well and just look at her face man you could like she really loves cooking tu, tu, tu en gatas cocinar okay <laughs> she don't want people to know because they're gonna make her want to cook all the time and she's not with it. Oh, uh, her mom gonna come get her. <laughs> all right, guys, so let's dig in. Um, uh, I want to say, uh, gracias a Dios por esa buena comida. Uh, gracias para a ti. Para cocinar por nosotros, tú eres un bendición. Oh, amen. Okay, I said she was a blessing and we were thanking God. All right, guys, so God bless this food, knowing that a lot of people can't eat this well. And so, we, I, you know me, I'm going to tear this food up and not leave a piece behind. All right, guys, so how's the juice? ¿Cómo es el juice? El jugo. ¿Muy bueno? Ah, está muy bueno. Está buenísimo. Okay. So... Mostraste el cucallito. Ya yo les había hablado a ustedes de que aquí acostumbramos a, a dejar que el arroz se pegue un poquito en el fondo, después lo raspamos y eso es lo que se llama cucayo. So they call it cucayo, we call it grate in um, the Creole community. And it's basically fried, the fried sides of the rice that got really, really fried and kind of hard, but it's something that even in my culture, we love to eat. It's a, it's a, it's a delicacy when it's that hard and fried. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, buen provecho. 
All right, guys, so let me try some of this rice. You already know I'm gonna go for the rice first and hit that up real quick. Okay. Flip this camera around. Okay. Here we go, guys. Rice right here. Try it. Mmm. Really good. Mm hmm. But you, come on, guys, you're not surprised. <laughs> you're not surprised on this. <laughs> you, I, I'm not surprised. All right, so now we're gonna try some of this right here, guys. Nice and steamy. Um, these beans and everything. I thought, she, like I said, she, I thought she's gonna put it on the rice, but I know this is gonna be good. Hmm. It kind of reminiscent of chili beans. Really good. Mm hmm. Really, really tasty. Okay, ¿cómo es el pollo? Mm. A mí me gustó. Tienes que probarlo. A ver qué tal. Okay, so remember, guys, we put the AP sauce on there on the pollo. So, with a little flair, a whole little flair. So, let's see how that tastes. She said, I got to try it. All right. I'm going to just grab it with my hands. All right, I'm at home. Okay, before y'all be like, oh, come on, Walker. come on, Ace. So, here we go. Mmm. Come out the bone so easy. Mm. I thought it was gonna be extra spicy, it's not spicy at all. Well flavored. Mm. Yeah, okay, I can taste the the bell the green pepper and red pepper. Mm-hmm. Take it. I'll wait till you finish eating it. Bueno, more. Qué bueno. Bueno. Mm -hmm. Typically, when you um, when you have the chicken, or if you're gonna go with the pork, you want to marinate it, and eat for at least a day or two, to really get that 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 sauce really seeped into the meat. But since we're filming, obviously, and I didn't really prepare this stuff, yet, uh, we didn't have a chance. But at least a day and it, you're gonna get more of the flavor of the sauce, but this is really good, this is good. All right guys, so now I'm gonna try this. So, ese es el tomate. Tomate de árbol. This is the, the tomato tree um, juice. Mmm. Quedó bien de azúcar. It's really good. It's really good. So that was made with water, but it can also be made with milk. I'm gonna get to eating, guys. It's waiting for me, all right? I'll be back. All right, guys, I finished eating all the food and man, it was so amazing. I want to say thank you. Gracias otra vez. You're welcome. Can you say that? I thought she was going to say something in English. <laughs> Whatever. She speaks English. She speaks English. Anyways, guys, more on the way. If you enjoy these videos, uh, leave a comment that you say you enjoy these videos. More on the way. And um, i see you in the next one. Don't forget to like this video. And if you're new, subscribe. If you've been watching, just double check if you are subscribed. Because I hear a lot of people never knew they weren't. All right. See you in the next one. Yo! Bye.